What's going on, Jello family? Today's video is comparing the Model 3 2024 Highland to the old Model 3 um, that just came out basically in 2018, 2019. So here I have the first ever Model 3. We have the Standard Range Plus. This came out around 2019, 2018 or so. Early, early, early. And I'm going to show you guys the differences from this first ever Model 3 compared to the new Model 3 of 2024. So let's dive in, guys. All right, guys. So today we have the OG Model 3. This car basically is the original steering wheel that we have over here. Um, you have the rubber um, knobs on the left and right side of the steering wheel. Um, basically... In the newer Model 3s, this has become like a steel or kind of like a more sturdy texture for the, the Model 3s when it comes to the knobs. And then here's the steering wheel we have here. Your horn is here in the middle. Unlike the newer Model 3s, there's no haptic feedback signals. You still have these stocks, which are kind of essential, which people love. Basically, you flip down and it goes to uh, signal left, flip up, and you signal right. Um, these are the, the stocks over here. If you press this over here, it turns on the windshield wipers, which is really cool. And this is how you shift in and out of a uh, park, uh, reverse, drive, whatever it may be. So you flick down to go drive, you flick up to go reverse, and then you flick P for park. So that's basically how you do it in the older Model 3. Also, these are still the same on the old Model 3. We have the normal, basically, um, And we also have this here. We have like, uh, this um, hasn't changed whatsoever. Usually your park, reverse, neutral, and drive for the newer Model 3s. Um, but this is just basically your hazard lights and then the lights over here. Okay, so that's the front interior. Um, seats here are interesting too. They are still heated. They have the heated seats. They do not have the ventilated seats like the original Model 3. Um, and we have uh, basically the center console here. The center console has changed a ton. In the first Model 3s, there were this kind of like placard, like uh, basic, I don't know, like very placky like substance. And if you open it here, it has a wireless charging port um, compared to the, the open face wireless charging port. And if you open here, you're given like the center console over here where you just have extra storage. This here is still your normal cup holder. Click this open over here. You have um, more space over here. The big the update about this though is interesting is that you are basically given normal USB ports, not USB-C. As we know, kind of USB-C charges a lot faster compared to USB. Um, and basically it's it's um, a much slower charge and you need to get the older charger ports. When it comes to the door handle itself, um, Alcantara, like I said before, and you're given um, this over here, which is like, a placky like uh, substance for the to open and close the window. Uh, I still got buttons, which is nice to open and close the doors. And um, that is like the door. Another big thing with the car itself is that you're gonna notice here with this door is that the windows aren't double pane like the newer Model 3s. They're all single pane, so your ride is a lot louder. So that's the door itself. Uh, that that's been updated or kind of like the older older version of it as well and um, This is kind of like the front interior for for the the Model 3 Let me jump into the back seat and show you guys the older Model 3 uh, back seat All right guys, here is the back seat space is still the same with regards to the older Model 3 uh, you have the the seats over here these seats are actually not heated because it's a standard range, but if you do get a long range or performance, you do have heated seats. The big uh, change here though, is that there is no back seat with the, the media uh, infotainment system. Usually there's a screen here with media infotainment. You can watch things, you can uh, play music for the people in the back, but there is no media infotainment system. Also, you have the USB ports. These USB ports are not the USB-C ports, which we see in all the new Teslas. So that is a big change for that. The back is pretty similar though. We have the basic glass roof, this the center divider over here with some lights, and um, the space here is pretty similar to the Model 3. 
of of new i don't think they really changed the body more so they kept the same body and frame that's why the space is the same i'm about 511 so it is kind of tight for me um especially if you can imagine three people sitting in the back seat it is still tight in the mall three but if you have two people in the back um and then two people in the front it should be fine but once you get that third person it is pretty tight i've had bigger friends sit in the model three before um front seat and they're around 200 or so pounds around 511 6 feet and they said it's pretty tight for them but um overall this is the back seat no uh this is kind of like no major changes here for for the older model three and this is how it looks uh this this material is leather now uh still leather compared to newer model three which is kind of like a, a clip-on thing which is different um and then yeah, so here is the back seats for the older Model 3. I'm gonna jump into the exterior now and show you the differences. This is like the biggest changes, honestly, with, with the Model 3s. All right, guys, so here's the exterior of the older Model 3. Um, we have basically this all blue exterior of the Model 3. With regards to the trim, the biggest part of the trim is that it is um, this kind of chrome trim. It's not blacked out like it is for the newer Model 3s. See, it's all chrome, chrome, chrome chrome all around the car another thing too is you have the older headlights these headlights are not the new updated headlights of the model 3 it's not as aggressive it has kind of like more of this bubbly look for the model 3 and then if you look around here this has the older aero wheels these aero wheels don't have that more aggressive look um, they basically are like the first generation of the aero wheels uh, for the the model 3 um, They do have that that arrow wheel look, but they don't look as good as they've, they've changed it throughout the years I really like the new arrow wheel look also If you can look around this car you do have um, Basically older lights here in the back, right? The taillights are the older version of it So you kind of have like this bubbly look less aggressive and you still have this T compared to the Tesla all spelled out uh, on that with regards to the charge port, charge port stays largely the same. It hasn't changed at all. Still looks the same. This is like the standard charge port now for the Model 3, Model S, Model X, Model Y, um, and no changes there. With regards to the trunk, trunk space is still the same. No updates to the trunk, so you still have the same trunk. Um, the only thing is like there is like the side compartment now in the new Model 3 where you have a little bit more room, but other than that, trunk really stayed the same. And the trunk uh, for the older Model 3 it is basically a manual trunk. So it has no open and close, open and close. Like it's not automatic compared to the newer models. So that is interesting. I'm gonna show you guys now the frunk. All right guys, here is the frunk, just opened it. So let's pop it open. Basically this frunk, it is, it looks like it's a, a little bit bigger to be honest with you compared to the newer Model 3s. Uh, you have a, like a bigger frunk uh, here. Basically, you still have your tow hitch, and then you have some uh, some more space over here. This is the one thing that was removed from the newer Model 3. So basically, if someone is stuck in here, they can press this button and the trunk will open. That's no longer included in the newer Model 3. I think Tesla found out that not a lot of people were using that button, and they basically removed it, probably saved costs. Uh, with regards to opening and closing, this uh, older Model 3, it has like a louder close. Uh, compared to the newer model 3 so that is interesting too also forgot to mention that these are fog lights these fog lights are no longer in the new model 3 they have been integrated into the headlights itself so this one is now inside here for the newer model 3 so that is the exterior of the newer model 3 and then let me just go back inside and tell you about the driving so driving experience for the, the older Model 3, 2018, 2019, basically, it is a lot more bumpy. This Model 3 uh, has the older suspension. So the car ride is a lot bumpier compared to the new Model 3. Of course, this is Tesla's first rendition of the car. They're just trying to get this car out. Suspension is a lot bumpier. Acceleration and range are not as good as well. Um, and I think also, for the older Model 3s, right, you can only charge to about 150 kilowatts per hour when you supercharge. So your charging is a lot slower. As you can tell, or if you're aware of that, there are a whole bunch of new superchargers all around the, the US and the world that are 250 kilowatt hours. So that you can charge your battery at a thousand miles per hour 
give or take whenever you're supercharging your car this 150 kilowatt hour tesla model 3 can only go about 500 miles an hour or so or about 600 depending on like how fast the, or how how much the battery has drained um so that is something to keep in mind also the with regards to the battery because this is an older model 3 you're going to experience a lot of battery degradation uh i think um usually this car gets around 250 or so but now after it being a few years now it's around like 220 200 or so total charge if you go up to a hundred uh, percent state of charge for the newer model 3. so that is basically all the updates or basically the the runaround of the older model 3. now let me jump into the 2024 model 3 highland and let me show you guys that car all right so this is the new model 3 highland we have the new front headlights over here also the new arrow wheels right there pretty cool i like it a lot it is kind of all stuffed black now and this is a new uh gray color they have as you can see the headlights look like the new model 3 headlights or similar to the s and you have some new aero wheels this is a standard range plus let's just kind of go around the car overall it looks pretty similar you have the new badge over here as well tesla and you have the new headlights in the back or tail lights in the back kind of more stealthy looking and Overall body of the car looks pretty similar. Here in comparison is the old gray Model 3. Here is the new kind of still stealth silver Model 3. And then let's jump inside. Okay. First things first, you got this new ambient lighting all around the car. It's in the front as well as the back as you guys can see over here. Ambient lighting. Pretty cool. The buttons are now like kind of like this touch button over here. So unlike the Mall S where it's like just a haptic, haptic touch, this is an actual button, which is nice. So let's jump inside the car. Here is the interior, smells brand new. As you can see in the front, there is ambient lighting in the front as well. And then you have a new steering wheel. Pretty cool. Steering wheel looks same size as a model um the old model threes but it does look a little more kind of i don't know nice to play with so here's the interior of the model three we have very similar kind of glove compartment similar to the s where you have this kind of hanging here and then you have your cup holders over here wireless charging again open this looks like we have similar uh, interior with the uh, compartment here and then here's the screen the screen i feel like it's popping out a little bit more pretty nice and no more uh what's it called uh stocks at all so you just gonna press the screen to start everything here's the interior guys it looks pretty similar these buttons are new kind of improved um this is a touch now for the light hazard lights are over here you still have the autopilot camera. And the interior looks really cool. Like, I really enjoy the inside of it. So let's press this. So the screen overall, it's pretty similar and the same for the Model 3. It doesn't look like it's changed at all. Um, excited to drive this. This is the Sand Range Plus again, guys. So it is nice. Oh, here are the, um, let's close the door. Here's the lights and everything. Um, so you can change the lights inside of the car to accent color. So you can change the blue. It looks like you just changed the blue. If you guys can see, here's red, orange, green, some light blue. Really cool. I kind of enjoy the ambient lighting. It looks really nice. It's probably really nice at night. And then um, interior looks pretty similar. Front body of the car all feels the same. So let's just start the car and show you guys what it's like driving it. Okay, so. Put the seatbelt on, foot on the brake, and it looks like it wants you to put the key card over here, similar to Model 3 is. And then look, to start the car, you have to pick the direction. So back is reverse, so your back camera. Up 
is to drive, so go forward. And then um, once you press drive, you're gonna step on the acceleration over here and the car will go forward. Here's the Model 3, in this new stealth gray color, I believe. As you can see, headlights are more aggressive. Front looks pretty similar. Um, I do like the arrow wheels now. A lot of the exterior change isn't to the body, it's more so to the wheels as well as to the lights. So it does look like a baby S. Um, here's the back of the car, new headlights, Tesla sign, open this. And here you go, voila la. Back is the same, same storage compartment space. The trunk closes a lot quieter too, is what I've kind of realized. Pretty cool. And yeah, this is the exterior. I hope you guys enjoyed that video of the Tesla Model 3 Highland compared to the first Tesla Model 3 that came out in 2018, 2019. Um, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I also have a newsletter called Silicon Buddy. Um, if you guys are interested in all things business, technology, EV, please subscribe to the newsletter below. There is a link down below. And I do have a referral code for a Tesla. If you're trying to purchase Tesla, you get three months of full self-driving as well as some supercharging miles and referral credits. So click that link below. Love you, Jello fam. Have an amazing day. Peace.